वेलकम एवरी वन दिस इज सैनिका माटे क्रिया यूनिवर्सिटी हैव स्टार्टेड देर फॉर्म फिलिंग एप्लीकेशन एंड वी आर हेयर टू मेक श्योर दैट यू नो एग्जैक्टली हाउ यू गो अबाउट फिलिंग द फॉर्म द सपोर्ट यू नीड ऑल योर पेरेंट्स एंड स्टूडेंट्स आउट देर आई वुड बी टेकिंग यू थ्रू द फॉर्म एंड आंसरिंग ऑल द क्वेश्चन इन केस इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन वाइल यू सी द वीडियो जस्ट मेक श्योर यू पुट इट इन द कमेंट बॉक्स एंड आई विल मेक श्योर आई पिक इट अप और राइट सो लेट स्टार्ट Kriya University application portal has opened on the first. It started practically, you know, uh, on the first of October. Now this is the link. The link will be also mentioned in the in the comment section, so you would be able to use that particular link there. This is the schedule. Now this is something which is extremely crucial. The first round, second round. So there are five rounds in total. Starting the first deadline is starting on the twenty fourth of November, and the last deadline will be the twenty second of June. In between, there will be five rounds. If you are aiming for the twenty fourth of November, make sure that you start your application as soon as possible because there are a lot of things which you would require help for. And if you want to make sure that you submit it on, you know, before the deadline, don't keep it till the end, and make sure you just, you know, you start it right now, and you submit your application, you know, as early as possible. However, once the application is ready, okay. Uh, most important information for all of you: the form consists eight sections. Okay, including your personal details, your, you know, your parents' details, academic section. So there are total eight of them. Incomplete mandatory fills are marked in red. So while you are actually filling the form, you will not be able to move to the sections. In case if you are leaving anything incomplete, it will be highlighted in red, and you need to make sure that you are updating that particular information. And uh, all the information need to be in english okay so make sure that you are sticking to the language anything which is mandatory is marked in asterisk with a red mark so it is easier for you all to understand that that particular field cannot really be kept empty one application can be submitted from one annual cycle so make sure that you are not uh, you know not making any mistakes okay so one application per year which is in 25 if you are looking at only one attempt would be available for you no duplicate applications will be entertained and that might lead to disqualification so just stick to one application and one email address in case if you are looking at financial assistance and uh, you know want kriya to support you that particular option would be available once you are done with the kriya test okay so just wait till then and even after that if you are uh, you know once you have uh, given the test if you are applying for the scholarship there make sure that you have all your documents ready wherever it is required where you are supposed to be you know kind of giving your financial uh, documents just make sure that you know that particular part is ready the office will look at it and accordingly they would be able to help you when it comes to scholarship is concerned okay next and most important which is the documents all right so while you fill the kriya university form make sure all your documents are ready let's start first with the photograph the photograph is important no selfies please just stick to a proper passport size photograph make sure it is in a 512 kb size and there are certain pixels which are required and make sure you follow that in case if you want help in compressing the photograph there will be a text guidelines updated right in the description use that particular text guidelines there are certain tools provided to you to convert your documents to resize your photograph that would help you okay next we have government id with a date of birth so aadhar card would be fine pan card would be fine anything a government id with the date of birth mentioned on it aadhar card number is required you would also require the transcript which is your mark sheet your result for 9th for 10th for 11th and for 12th you would also require you know the details for your sat and act score so if you are a student who is applying for sat or act you have your scores with you and you want to declare those scores make sure once you update this particular information you are also supporting it with the right transcript and the mark sheet with it you would also require any co curricular activities which you have done any research paper let's say any you know any a uh, school activity which you have done you have won any kind of inter school competition or anything on those lines you would require a transcript a certificate a video a photo make sure it is ready with you 
you would also require any extracurricular activity so let's say you have won any kind of a dance competition or any related any extracurricular any activity which you're showing up in the form it needs to be supported with the certificate with any kind of uh, you know collateral so make sure it is something which you have ready with you now let's start with the form filling i think this is something which all of you are very much used to this particular application will start with a registration where you will have to put in your you will have to put in your basic details like your your name email address mobile number it will verify your mobile number with the otp once you verify your mobile number they will send you an email you know on your email address this is the email address or email what i received from kriya just to give you a screen capture there verify your email just by clicking on the right box there once this is done you are able to enter the form there will be a dashboard provided to you right in that particular corner up there okay and once you are starting with the form just go through this particular information it is just going to tell you what should be the mindset and you know some important information which kriya believes in okay now the first information is the personal details personal details very self explanatory it will ask your first name middle name last name mobile number what was the sex at the time when you were born what exactly is uh, the gender the date of birth you know what it, uh, what are your preferred pronounces your category email address mobile number it would ask you about you know the details which you might not be able to available in the other forms so just to give you understanding the gender and the sex assigned at birth also for students who are about 21 years of age applying to kriya university and uh, you know uh, there is a criteria so in case if you want them to consider your application you just need to understand and mention very clearly in the box just right at the bottom which they have given to you here the reason why you want them to waive that off okay and if you are giving the reason make sure you are also supporting it with the right document right here okay and uh, once you fill this it would ask you to to kind of declare your majors and minors not really they will be holding this you know against you or it will be something which would be final but it is not binding you but they just want to understand what your interest would be so if you are not too sure see what your inclination is okay and accordingly you can select your preferences again it's preference and it's not the final binding okay just mention your preferences here depending upon the drop down here once that is done you mention your address the complete address it will ask if it's your permanent address or no mention your permanent address by selecting the correct radio button and if you are a domicile of andhra pradesh make sure you are updating this particular section here by updating yes and updating the domicile certificate on this particular section post that we are moving to the payment section here okay so now this particular payment section so once you update these two details it will ask you for a payment a 1000 rupee application fee once you make this particular payment ta da you are right in the application here okay the application details asking you first the most importantly is your photograph as we discussed no selfie stick to photograph 512 kb it will ask you about your the country of residence government id which is here i have updated the aadhar card update the document here and then the aadhar card number moving forward it will be your parents details so you know they have asked you in case if it's a single parent mention a single parent because that's the only information you would be providing it to them so depending on the situation you would update the information here so if there's a parent you will update the details for the first parent where you will provide them what is the relationship with the person the complete name their mobile number their email address their current occupation the level of education and what institute they have gone to same thing with the second parents if you are updating first for mama then you go for daddy if you are updating the first one for daddy then it goes for mama then you will have details for your siblings in case if you have any elder brother younger brother sister just update the details and the sibling details here moving ahead we have academic details again you will require academic documents as we discussed it in you know uh, just few minutes before most importantly kriya wants you to upload the documents in a certain manner okay which will be for example if i am uploading my 10th uh, standard mark sheet so it will be saved so when you are saving that 10th standard mark sheet it should be saved as sanika 
10 standard mark sheet upload it in a such a manner ideally for all the universities because it will be helping the universities to make sure who is the student and what the document is okay once you make sure so there are certain instructions which are mentioned here which says that if you are in class 12 the actual scores if you already have appeared for class 12th by now i'm sure none of the students have appeared for class 12th so we would go for the predictive scores if you are yet to appear for class 12th final exams please provide a predictive scores if you can either self predict your or school predicted one a lot of you would get a school predicted certificate or a mark sheet from school so you can upload that in case if your school predicted score please upload the file in the uploads section if you are self predicting the score please enter the score in the self predicted table so it's going to be a very easy one starting with the ninth you know the ninth uh, details you would upload the school the country you have completed your ninth standard in the board you would update the grading scheme what kind of grading scheme was it which year you completed and the transcript which is your mark sheet for the ninth same thing would be for the 10th then the 11th then the 12th now if you are uploading the mark sheet in case if you have the predictive scores again we are talking about here is the predictive scores if you are uploading the predictive scores you would upload it here then you would upload your counselor details which will be the school point of contact the school the contact designation the email address their number and the rest of the information if you have appeared for an SAT or ACT, this is the section for you. You need to select whether it is yes or no. If it is no, fair enough, you would move to the next section. If it is yes, then it will require you to upload the mark sheet just like that. You would be uploading the information here. Okay. Moving to the co-curricular activity. The co-curricular activities is something which you would go beyond your school curriculum, but you are a part, you know, something which you do with your schools. So any co-curricular activities, so there are sections provided to you in co-curricular, so any kind of handwriting course, any particular, so it is mentioned in a very simple manner. For example, topic, the source, for example, the source, let's say, would be a certain website. The certificate earned, yes or no, so in case there is a certificate, mention yes, if there is no certificate, mention no. And mention, you know, the updated collateral. So when we say collateral, for example, if you're doing, let's say, uh, a dance course, okay, something related to dance, and uh, you don't really have a certificate for it, you can possibly just upload, you know, a video or a photograph, you know, something of those lines. So this would be for the co-curricular activity, what you would be uploading. One, two, three, just make sure that you click a more button here and you keep on adding it. Then you have research papers. Now, what we were talking about was the co-curriculars. Then we have research papers. So any kind of research papers, any honors assignment, what you are doing, this would come into this section. If you have taken competitive tests, if you have taken Olympiads, then this kind of moves in here. Again, with the same format, the Olympiad name, you the level what you reached, the qualified one, which particular, you know, which level did you reach, what were you qualified, you the certificate if you have earned yes or no, and then you upload the form here in this particular section. Internships. In case if you have done any internships, whether it is online, whether it is offline, you will mention and again in a very simple format, you name the organization, the period you did your, you know, your internship for, the designation you were in and what kind of work did you do and what did you learn from it. Okay, the skills what you learn is important, so focus on that. And then you upload whatever certificate you must have received, whatever details you would have to prove and to support it. Then we have the additional information where Korea University want to understand that if there is anything, you know, any kind of uh, uh, situation, any kind of medical uh, reason which would, you know, which would result in a social barrier in your learning and environment. So based on the selection option here, you just go about it's a little survey what you give. So first question, second one would be where you heard about Korea. So wherever you heard it first. Make sure you select that particular option. Have you been implicated? So just in case if there is any kind of suspension, expulsion or any kind of criminal activity, you need to mention yes or no and then give the reason. 
upload your documents here is the detail which is a very important aspect and the dreaded one for the student which is the personal story okay so what is your personal story so this is basically the part where you upload your SOP in Kriya we look at it as a personal story so the personal story will have it's a 750 word a personal story maximum word limit however Kriya University gives you the option of uploading a video singing it through an artistic way write a personal story or create your personal story with your failures and your achievements okay if you need any support with your personal story just make sure you update it in the comment we would be able to you know get in touch with you or you can just dm us on instagram we'll be more than happy to help you okay so we would be helping you to write it we will not write it for you but we would definitely support you and give you the framework which will make your life easier once you have uploaded your personal story make sure that the personal story is correct in terms of grammar make sure it is giving you the you know it's giving you your personality and what your experiences are okay just focus on that the skills what you have learned through your achievements and your failures then it will ask you for a pledge which you have to just go ahead and say yes or no and just make sure that the information what you're updating is correct again i'm requesting everyone double check the information okay post that just click on the submit button and that's about it your form will be submitted however again as i mentioned do not hurry with your form if you need support you can always get in touch with us my name is Sanika Mate. I am here to help you and we will be more than happy to assist you further. Okay, so thank you so much guys. I hope this video was helpful and uh, I'll see you later. Bye-bye.